Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go back to the future? No, I don't mean like Marty McFly, a teenager who accidentally travels back in time to 1955 in a modified DeLorean, which is turned into a time machine by his eccentric scientist friend, Doc Brown. But I'm actually talking about Bitcoin. And well, whether you could travel back in time to buy it at one cent, is that possible? Quantum mechanics will prove to be the next industrial revolution. Sure, Web3 is, but massive developments that disrupt society aren't gonna be coming every century anymore, more like every decade. Watch this channel and this video to the very end to stay ahead of the quantum curve. Let's get it. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, The Bid Boy. If you enjoy interesting videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button so we know to keep making these thought provoking videos. They found a young man who was scared, didn't know where he was, and was dressed in strange anachronistic clothing, carrying a camera. Little did they know that they were possibly standing face to face with an actual time traveler. Okay, so here we go. You aren't going to believe this, I, you're just not. In 2013, a mysterious Reddit post popped up from a traveler from the future. Future was an interesting mixed bag of results, including a $1 million Bitcoin in 2025. Don't know if that's coming, but also implying that the have nots or the no coiners would be a threat to the Bitcoiners. For this reason, the Bitcoin holders had to build citadels to protect themselves from the no coiners also known as the cooler kids. While this future was projected to take place in 2025, most of us realize this is probably not gonna happen now. But time travel posts in crypto are nothing new. There have been several, some that almost seem true, and others that were so far-fetched they didn't get any support at all. But what makes this particular Reddit post so interesting is that on October 27th, 2019, a strange update was made to it, which also happens to be my birthday. Side note, weird. However, that's not what's so strange about this update. It shouldn't have been possible. The Bitcoin time travel Reddit post has been edited, but nobody knows who did it. You see, the original poster's account was deleted. Now here's a moderator from the Bitcoin subreddit on the matter. The post was originally made on August 31st, 2013, and was edited by the original account on October 27, 2019. It is unclear when or why the original account became inactive. The account was never banned by moderators of the r slash Bitcoin subreddit, and such site-wide actions can only be performed by Reddit site administrators. Then the Reddit mod who was explaining this actually felt the need to say this. It should be noted that there is no indication whatsoever that any time travel is involved, and that the original unedited post was held in high regard solely as an imaginative piece of fan fiction. It is also unclear whether the original thread was intended to be an ominous warning about Bitcoin as the edit portrays, or if the account holder's motive and outlook shifted since 2013. It also seems unlikely that one could contact the account holder directly since there is no way to send them a private message. The moderator then concluded by highlighting that there are more exciting things happening in Bitcoin than a six-year-old post that had recently been edited. Okay, look, I'm not saying that this is proof time travel is real, that this account was deleted and somehow the post was still edited. All I'm saying, is if time travel were real and you wanted to hide it, that's exactly how you would answer that question. <laughs> to most people, this is all science fiction, so they don't give any credibility to any kind of time traveler. The Reddit mod is stating the obvious here, and when people state the obvious, they either think their audience is dumb, or there's a reason that they're saying it that way. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is a true story of time travel. I actually don't think that this one is like at all, but you should not discount a story like this on the merits alone of time travel being mentioned because I do believe it is real. And it's kind of already been proven. You see, when Einstein's theory of relativity, you guys know, E equals MC squared, when it came out, we knew that time moves faster or slower depending on a variety of factors. At first, Einstein was also 100% against time travel being possible for people, although Einstein was 100% against the idea of people being able to time travel. But by the end of his life, he was more open to it but he was still kind of like the old man yelling at Bitcoin meme, except for instead of Bitcoin, it was time travel. Is quantum theory developed though? The idea of a new theory, one that encompassed all the laws of physics called the theory of everything was created. And the idea is that time travel and Einstein's theory of relativity, they're not mutually exclusive if they can both fit up under the theory of everything. Okay, that's a 30,000 foot view. Now let's check out a little more detail from Wikipedia. The theoretical study of time travel generally follows the laws of general relativity. Quantum mechanics requires physicists to solve equations describing how probabilities behave along closed time-like curves, or CTCs. Theoretical loops in space-time that just might make it possible to travel through time. You see, if time were just a circular loop, that might make things difficult. But you have to think of time not just in terms of non-linear, 
but also it isn't like a neat little shape. It can be bent. Time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. You can turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. We understand now time is a dimension. Well, we understand it's a much more complicated dimension than we had previously considered. The exploration of time is going to be even more exciting than the exploration of space or the ocean. This has led to some quite interesting developments as the study of time and its possibilities has become quite the serious topic in the world of science. Why? Because something has changed. The new wrinkle in all this, which is causing all the excitement and the dismay of philosophers, is that this river of time can fork into two rivers. Or perhaps the river of time can have whirlpool. Time can go in on itself. You see, I don't believe it's coincidence that we're seeing multiverse and time travel theories show up time and time again many of the action movies we like to watch, like the entire Avengers series has turned to this. Doctor Strange, well, he might not be so strange at all. Multiverse, time travel, and heck, who knows what else? It may actually be real. The thing many people miss is that time travel is what causes a new universe to pop up in the multiverse. But we can discuss that in another video. I hope you guys are getting the picture though. Open your mind. We aren't talking about magic. We aren't talking about the paranormal. We're talking about science. And there are many scientists out there that are taking this very seriously. Seth Lloyd, a professor at MIT, is actually attempting to turn time travel from science fiction into reality. There are currently experiments underway to send a particle back to the past. Check it out. Theoretical routes to the past, called time loops, have long been hypothesized by physicists. But because they are plagued by impracticalities and paradoxes, they've been dismissed as impossible for just as long. But now Lloyd and other physicists have begun to show that in the quantum realm, these loops to the past are not only possible, but even experimentally feasible. In other words, we will soon effectively try to send a particle back in time. If that succeeds, it raises the possibility of being able to dispatch, if not people, then at least messages in the form of quantum signals back in time. More importantly, studying this phenomenon takes us to the heart of how cause and effect really work what quantum theory means and perhaps even how we can create a successor theory that more fully captures the true nature of reality. This reminds me of some wise words from one of my old buddies. Okay, so I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. That's right, Kip. And I've been chatting with hot physicists like all day and they agree. We need to seriously reconsider what we thought we knew about reality. The nature and laws of physics and reality are much stranger than you think. The more we're able to dive deeper into the quantum realm, the more we discover paradoxes in our universe. And this is where string theory comes into play. You see, we have four fundamental forces in the universe. One is gravity. Everyone can see and understand that. Three of them take place in the subatomic world, the quantum realm. Strong nuclear force, weak force, and electromagnetic force. Now what's so confusing about reality is that the three forces on the subatomic level behave completely opposite of the force of gravity on our level. It's interesting. Scientists believe forever that the smaller the object, the more defined its shape, role, and movement should be. But the closer they got to the absolute smallest particles in our universe, they actually found quite the opposite. The smaller the particles, the less they seem to operate by the rules of the known universe. But here's where it gets really cool. The objects on the subatomic scale don't actually behave different. They're not different rules or laws. The particles are simply too small to be affected by something such as gravity. And string theory, one of the most popular theories about the theory of everything, quantum mechanics, and even creation, backs this up completely. If you want me to do a deep dive on string theory, drop a comment down below so I know it's something that I should get into. But just understand this. One of the core tenets of string theory is that there are 10 or 11 dimensions, dependent upon whether you use the original super string theory or the newly created M theory. But both theories agree that there are three dimensions in our world. No one disagrees with that with depth, height, that's what our world has, three dimensions. But it also has a fourth dimension called time. And this leaves six to seven more possible dimensions in our world. But the particles from those seven dimensions are so tiny and curled up that we cannot see them. But thanks to advancements in science, we're actually able now to see the subatomic and quantum level. And this could actually be the next dimension, who knows? But here's what I do know. There is truth to some of this. Are we able to time travel and go back and buy Bitcoin at $11 when I bought it? We don't know that for sure yet, but one thing I'm certain of is that paradoxes are not allowed in time travel, and that is something that we can talk about in another video. But the basics are, when someone travels back in time and creates a paradox, like preventing their parents from ever meeting, it creates a new universe. 
It, it seems as if one of the laws of the universe could be that no time paradoxes are allowed. This is something a lot of people have been worried about. But you have to understand that while we do not understand all of these laws yet, especially when it comes to time, it seems likely that one day no paradoxes will be written in as a law of time under physics. I know a lot of this sounds absolutely insane to people I get, but how crazy do you think that Copernicus was when he was like, uh, hey guys, have you ever thought like maybe the earth is not the center of the universe? Or the first guy who was like, guys, the earth may not be flat. How wrong that guy was. There are times in the history of humanity when our understanding of what is possible was not only challenged, but flipped upside down on its head. And I believe as we move into the world of quantum computing combined with AI, it's going to blow everything we think we know about reality to smithereens. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below and let me know what year, what event, and what person you're going to go see when you get a time travel. That's all I got to be blessed. Bit boy out.